You ever watched a speed paint video? When I was a kid, I used to watch like 12 of those suckers right in a row. And then I'd feel the power to draw a course through my veins. And then as soon as I started drawing, my hand said, Nope, you still suck. You will never be as good as them. Oh, and those speed paint videos were usually silent or had like nightcore songs over the top of them in the background. But I like the ones with the commentary. So let's commence the commentation, shall we? Alternatively, I suppose you could mute me and put on some nightcore in the background for some authentic 2009 speed paint vibes. <sighs> it's 2 a.m. and I can already tell that I am in the mood where my brain is going a million miles an hour, but as soon as I'm done recording this, I'm going to pass out in front of my microphone, so it's a race against the clock at this point. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Let's see. If I had to break this video down into one sentence, it would be that my forehead is very shiny. Look at that bad boy. Forehead grease makes the best lubrication. Everybody knows this, of course. And that's why there are factory farms in Yugoslavia where they hold skinny white boys and extract the forehead grease until they stop producing. Just don't ask what they do with them once they're all dried up. Uh, speaking of greasy foreheads, though, here's a bit of a history lesson for you. Forehead sauce, popularized in Louisiana by Henry Fordhead, became the official Louisiana state food on April 20th, 1969. This was, of course, before Mr. Fordhead switched to manufacturing automobiles and changed his name to go by the more marketable moniker Henry Ford, which is what most people know him as now. And it's like, so what? He made some cars. Big deal. He revolutionized lactating foreheads, and no one talks about it. If you ask me, it's time we teach our people the real history. Not this misleading narrative that they're trying to shove down our voluptuous gullets nowadays. I also recommend using references while sketching. We already know how much it helps, but gentle reminders every now and then doesn't hurt one bit. This is also your gentle reminder to make sure that you're hydrated. Have you flooded the inside of your body with dehydrogen monoxide yet? You did. That's wonderful news. Clearly, I'm ecstatic to be updated on your physical state of being, maintaining proper homeostasis. Your cells are hard at work. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Shrek with chicken legs? You got it. Order up! One Shrek with chicken legs. Let's talk about this character that I'm drawing, though. The Shrekin. Thanks to yours truly, that means me, we finally have a visual representation of the child that came from Shrek's rendezvous with the chicken in that third movie. The real question is, though, what type of bones this creature has? Can you guess? The answer, by the way, is key to your survival after the Shrekin's arrival. Are the bones hollow, like a bird, or solid like an ogre? These are the questions we need to be asking ourselves so that the next generation can be prepared for this dying world we force them into. Because, if they're hollow bones, that makes this beautiful specimen lightweight and possibly capable of flight, but also susceptible to blunt force trauma. And if they're solid bones, like an ogre, they can withstand considerable impact, but they're more dense. The answer, have you got it yet? The answer is actually neither. Shrekin is actually an invertebrate. Also, notice the spaghetti sauce on their shirt. Spaghetti is their favorite food, but they cannot have spaghetti and meatballs. That is forbidden. Why? Because this titan is definitively herbivorous. Allergic to meat, in fact. I know, I'm surprised too. But because they don't have fingies to grab onto things, they're a little messy when they eat. And they don't even have opposable feathers to grab onto stuff, so they just go straight in with their mouth. And while the whole feeding process is reminiscent of the carnivorous dinosaurs of the crustacean period, don't be fooled. This hunky, hungry Goliath is on a strictly vegan diet, complete with the moral superiority complex and everything. By the way, with this one, instead of drawing the shadows like people normally do, 
I made another layer and filled it with light purple, like the whole thing. And then I set it to multiply so that it was just all covered in shadow. And then I erased where the light would be hitting. So instead of like painting the shadow like I would normally do, I used my eraser to paint the light, if that makes sense. And then I also made another layer, set that to color dodge, and then I used like this pukey, mustardy yellow color to make the bright parts up at the top where like the sunlight is kissing their beautiful flawless green skin. I'm basically just putting that bright color dodgy thing on the top edges of my beautiful creation. I also fixed the eyes so that uh, so that they can stare into your soul and make it accurate to the official Shrekken fanfic. Um, also, you can see the ogre and chicken silhouettes there for scale. Proud parents, look at them beaming with pride. And I suppose one of those human creatures are in there as well for reference so that you... You self-absorbed mortals can have a point of reference for yourselves, too. This content is for you, after all. Speaking of content, this content is over! I want to thank all my lovely Patreon supporters for enabling me to keep posting my stupid videos on this godforsaken website, and to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare offers thousands of educational classes for creative and curious people on topics like illustration, design, music production, photography, video freelancing, and more, with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. I watched a class by Vashti Harrison called Illustrating in Procreate, Drawing a Shareable Time Lapse. It takes you through the whole process of creating a beautiful illustration, start to finish. Most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule, no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. You can squeeze a lot out of that free trial. You can cancel anytime. And if you decide to keep learning with Skillshare, it's less than 10 bucks a month with an annual subscription. Link in the description to try it out yourself. It's worth a try. I hope this video was informative because you're going to need all of this info when Shrekken begins their occupation of our dimension. Good luck, and may God have mercy on your soul. Peace and love, my friends. Take good care of yourself while I'm gone. Bye.